Did you really SWAT a disabled kid who trolled you? I didn't SWAT anyone. I contacted the... First of all, he wasn't a kid, he was an adult. Um, but yes, I did actually contact both his employer and I also contacted um, his local police and um, they actually uh, went out to his house once and then the second time uh, brought him into the station. Um, he was making threats. Um, he was engaged in an ongoing period of cyber harassment um, and he was also um, planting some uh, extremely questionable materials, um, <laughs> let's say underage related materials, on public forums um, under other people's names. He was also harassing uh, a married couple, the, the, he was harassing the female half of a married couple who lost a child. Um, I have no sympathy whatsoever for anyone who does that kind of stuff. Um, you know, the I've always, I've always made my position perfectly clear. You know, if you engage, if you cross any legal lines, we'll know and we'll act. And so, um, you know, that's not swatting. That's just filing a criminal complaint. So, uh, if you don't do anything criminal, then there isn't any any need to worry about that. But you know, the thing is, most people have no idea what the laws in their area are. And so, uh, you know, sometimes people do things. I mean, keep in mind, there's sometimes people do things. We go, we check it out, and we realize that you know they haven't crossed the line. Um, so there's nothing to do. But uh, every jurisdiction has different cyber stalking and different cyber harassment and harassment statutes. Uh, and so, um, you know, you just have to figure out who, where they are and um, what the relevant law is. And if they cross the line, then they've just handed you a, something to, you know, you, they've just handed you a weapon. If they don't cross the line, they don't. But, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't tell people these things. I, w I wouldn't say things like that if they weren't true. You know. Um,